Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to a brand new LEGO Movie set review. Today we're going to be taking a look at ages 6 to 12, 70817 Batman and Super Angry Kitty Attack with 115 pieces and this set comes to us from the new 2015 LEGO Movie line. This is going to be the cheapest set you can get Batman in the LEGO Movie sets, but it also comes with Unikitty in her super angry form and a little, little, um, uh, it comes with a micromanager and one of these little robot henchmen of uh, Lord Business. This is a very tiny box, by the way. It's really small. That's my hand, I guess, for comparison, even though I guess my hand could be any size. But um, it doesn't even have a, like, a 1-1 one -one scale of an actual minifigure. So for comparison, for comparison, here is a Batman minifigure compared to the box. It's pretty dang small. But anyway, let's get right into the set itself. The contents of the box are pretty dang small. We do get one bag with most of the character parts. We get another bag with some of the smaller parts. And then we get a third bag with some other kind of small parts, but there, there's a bit more. There's a couple of heads in there, I think. Or at least one head. Uh, it appears just one head, and I think the Batman head is in this one. Yeah, it's in that one, the new Batman head. That looks pretty scary. Then we got the instruction manual, which has approximately only... 25 pages of building, so that's not a whole lot. And then we also get the cape for Batman. That's about it for the uh, contents of the box. As far as the spare pieces go, you do get quite a bit of studs. Most, uh, the best thing about it is you do get these clear, or not clear, but like these studs with the holes in them. You get one in black and one in dark, dark red, uh, like the maroon color. Uh, lighting's a bit weird here. All right, so yeah, you get the maroon colors. I did drop one of the Unikitty ear pieces uh, on the floor, and I haven't found it yet. But you do get a spare like horn. Uh, you get a batarang in there for Batman, a spare one, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that's what you get for the spare pieces of this set. Okay, so the first minifigure of this set is Batman. Now this is the Lego Movie version of Batman. So once again, we are seeing the uh, same cow mold from the movie. The same like torso. This is an older cape, older version of the cape, and I'll get that into that in a second. I actually want to go over his gun first. This is the grapnel gun from the movie. Uh, it's got a little piece, like clear piece on the front. Um, it's got the grapnel hook, which goes in there with two of those uh, um, stud pieces with the hole in the middle, and it's got the gun. This is awesome. This is pretty much an exact replica of the version from the movie, which is really cool. And of course, as always, he does come with. Oh, he does come with two of the standard... Where'd it go? Darn it. it can't, he does come with two of the standard Lego Batarang pieces. But anyway, here's Batman. Not really much to say about him other than the new face piece, which is pretty cool. As you can see, here it, he is with his, um, with his creepy new eyes. You can barely see, but he does have like white, like little white eyes. Like his eyes are obviously really squinty right now, but they are, that's what the face looks underneath it. Um, he's got regular eyes and then he's got the Batman face eyes and he's, of course he's got his big giant mouth pieces or mouth designs. And here is his rage face. This is what I like to have more on more than the smiley face. But obviously the torso is just the same as it has been since 2012. Um, if we move his cape around, we'll see the back printing, same as always. Uh, nothing too special there, but this is a pretty awesome Batman figure. I do have to say, uh, the face does really make this figure work, and surprisingly on the box, actually the front of the box, the uh, cape looks actually like the newer capes materials that we've been seeing in the Justice League sets. But uh, yeah, no, this is an original material cape. Um, brand new out of the box. It's really nice to have some of these. I have some of these in the box because I don't like opening them because they get ruined somehow really fast like where I'm at. So um, yeah, that's, that is pretty much it for Batman. Not much to say about him, but he's pretty sweet. Now the next figure up here is Super Angry Unikitty. Um, really cool uh, redesign of Unikitty from the design that I've previously had, which is basically the standard version. You all saw my Cloud Cuckoo Palace review, then you know which one that is. Uh, the only complaint I do have about this figure is that right in between these two teeth up here, there is a bit of a white paint smudge, just like three little dots of white paint that won't go away. But pretty much this minifigure is in all red. Of course, the tail and the like little um, arch piece here are printed with the flames on all sides, which is pretty cool. 
and then actually except for the front so maybe I have that on backwards actually I don't think it's supposed to be printed on all the t on the tail pieces so that's that's my error I didn't realize that when I was assembling it but that's a fix quick or a fix a quick fix nothing too harsh there but we do get this pretty awesome unikitty and um, she's pretty angry because no one's being friendly so that is pretty awesome that we have this version of unikitty really like this figure but we're moving on to the next, next one. Next we have the Skeletron uh, warrior like figure dude here. Basically what he is, is he's just a classic like Lego skeleton. Um, or not classic, but he's got Lego skeleton parts and then he's got like the battle droid type arms. Then he's got the uh, awesome robotic face, which is pretty much the best part about him. So you can see he's got like glowing red eyes, he's got some pretty cool printing on there. He's also got this pretty sweet gun with a red stud on the top, or not a red stud, I'm sorry, a red little dome piece there, which is pretty cool, and he can like go after Batman and Unikitty with that. But that is pretty cool. Nothing else much to say about this guy other than he is a nice little collection to your Lord Business Army. Now here we have the Micromanager. Now the Micromanager is just this little cube. Uh, as you can see, there is some things on the back here. We've got these little uh, things, I guess. I don't know if these are supposed to like move down and make it fly, I guess they are. Um, that's pretty cool. Up here, we are, I should go over the arms first. The arms are just three of these, or not even three, technically two, of these little like Doc Ock tentacle pieces. And you get some movement in there, but you don't get a whole lot. You get like just, just a little bit. Um, if you had more Doc Ock hands, you could, or Doc Ock hands, Doc Ock arm pieces, you could probably make these extend a lot further and a lot more. So you have like uh, Unikitty here in the, the arms try to grab a hold of her and she attacks with her horn and stuff. So that's pretty cool. You all need to be more friendly. But yeah, um, Unikitty is one of my favorite characters from the movie because she's just so funny. But uh, also when, like, I guess Unikitty attacks, there's this little thing on the back here and uh, that basically just pops those two front pieces off. So basically when that happens, obviously the micromanager is down and we put those back on and back here we got these two things these basically just shoot out flick fire missiles it shoots there are two one of them for some reason has like a cylinder piece on it and the other doesn't i'm not sure why that is i guess i just wanted to make it make one look different from the other but yeah that is the micromanager and that pretty much concludes this set there's not a whole lot to this set and there doesn't really need to be but it is pretty awesome surprisingly this set is only ten dollars at, at least at like Target and stuff. I actually got this at the Lego store. I don't know if I actually paid, I don't think I paid more than $10 for it. But it's pretty awesome. You get some pretty awesome, like you get a new Lego movie Batman face. The other set that has them in it is just a regular 2012 Batman. Uh, you get a new version of Unikitty. You get obviously some stuff for your Lord Business Army. Um, actually, hold on, my receipt should be right here. If I got one, I didn't get one, Never mind. Um, didn't get a receipt. Oh well, unless it's over here. Yes, here it is. Yeah, it was. It was exactly it was nine ninety nine exactly. So that is pretty awesome. We don't see a lot of sets anymore that actually cost that much. Most of the sets that you would see that would normally be like nine ninety nine and like two thousand six or two thousand seven are like twelve ninety nine here, which is really sad. Obviously, Lego has to you know uh, charge some of the sets because if if they have licenses or you know. Um, they just like the pieces are getting more expensive to make or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a really nice uh, set to get for only ten dollars. Obviously, there's tax involved, but you do get quite a bit for that ten dollars, and it's definitely worth it, especially with being the Lego Movie. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this Lego review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all. Oh, wow. That is going to be it for this LEGO review. Uh, subscribe for more LEGO reviews, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later, taters.